everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Lorena Victoria. Hope you're doing really well. Today's pick a card reading is a how does he see you right now? How does your person see you right now? We have three wonderful choices to choose from. We have princess, you can be your own knight or as I call her, Miss Stripey Tights, <laughs> uh, for reading one. And then we have Sundress, do it for you, for reading number two. And we have Voyage, you ha already have all the answers for reading number three. Please choose your reading intuitively. If you're drawn to the image on the um, marker cards, as I call them here, that's perfectly fine. Take a few minutes if you would need it as well. Pause the video to make your selection. It's better really if you do choose your reading intuitively. You seem to get more, I know to see people kind of, you know, get more answers from your readings. So timestamps in the description box when you've made your selection as well. Please bear in mind these are general readings and also stick around to the end of your tarot card readings because I do pull out the oracle cards and the message cards as well, whatever we need. During readings, even though the title is how does he see you or how do they see you, I've no idea what's coming out. So spirit might put extra info in so just that's why I always say stick around to the end of your tarot readings because there could be something coming out that maybe even I don't know yet during your readings so um yeah so stick around for your tarot so stick around for all the readings if you're conflicted between two piles and you can't make your mind up it's perfectly fine to listen to another pile as well so there could be messages or information um the spirit wants you to know right now about your situations or about your person so bear that in mind private readings are available they look like this one <laughs> Um, they, um, I do, I video record it and then I send you a link through your email address so you can watch it in your own time for your own situations. Read the description box beneath this video if you'd like any private readings with me. You should have all the info there and all the links to book. Okay, should we get started? I'll give you a foi, foi. <laughs> I'll give you a few quiet moments to choose between reading one, reading number two, reading number three and I'll see you at your readings. Hey my lovelies, welcome back to your reading, those of you who chose reading number one, which was card number one, and this is Princess, you can be your own knight. So let's have a look how your person is seeing you right now, I'm using the Lumiere tarot deck today for your reading. So let's get some tarot cards, see what spirit wants you to know, how your person is seeing you right now. do have some cards sticking out here and I'm going to take them as well. We have the Seven of Swords, we have the Knight of Coins, we have the Nine of Wands. Straight away I feel like they are feeling your defensiveness, okay? Um, they're being cautious as well about something. Let me keep going, pull out some more cards for you. Okay, we have the Ten of Coins in reverse here as well. We have the King of Cups. Ooh, I think they, 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 ooh, I got a bit tongue-tied then. They've got this fascination about you, but they're not sure I feel about how you're feeling about them right now. That's Seven of Swords, aha, the Magician. Okay, that Seven of Swords that came out first kind of bothered me here. It's, um... It almost felt like something had gone on between you um, that caused maybe something where it would... Okay, I kind of feel like there's there's been something that pushed the relationship back or slowed it down. Um, they may want you to drop your guard here. I think they're lonely as well. There may have been family drama involved um, with the Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, there could be some conflict to do with family members in this as well. So somebody I feel has got involved in your connection somewhere. Perhaps somebody said something. You have a Seven of Swords coming out first. And honestly, the Seven of Swords can be lies being told. 
but I, as I'm looking at your spread, it feels more like other people have told lies and not your person or you. So I feel like you've got some drama going on in the background of all of this because you do have a person who still uh, has emotional connection to you. And I feel like your person is understanding you as well where, when you say things. And I want to say they're agreeing with you, even if they don't look like they're agreeing with you at the moment. I'm also feeling very strongly that maybe um, the interference may have even caused a lot of drama. But at the same time, I, it might be that I'm seeing past energy in the background because you've got a King of Cups, a Six of Wands and a Magician. So there's potential in this connection. Your person is still emotionally attached or romantically attached to you. The Six of Wands, I feel like they're, they're galloping back to you. They want something good, successful, they want to be recognised, they want to be noticed, they are noticing you. The magician is a good indicator that they're seeing potential. I almost feel like, I almost feel like I'm looking at a spread of them saying to you, look, trust me, this is going to work out. Trust me, this, this relationship has potential. There is drama in the background, I can't ignore that, okay? But there is some stubbornness, there is some defensiveness, and even a little bit of paranoia setting in somewhere here. But I just feel like it's not... It feels like other people are causing this. Whatever way, shape, or form, this is somebody else's drama making the problems for you two, you know, in, in, the, in your in your real life, should we say. But I'm, I kind of feel like your person is going ahead with things anyway, but they do, I feel like they want your understanding here. So they are seeing you as potential for romance. They want, they want this to grow. They want it to gallop ahead. They're not going to stop loving you or anything like that if this is going on. Um, I think it's other people's lives that have caused more of a problem than anything. Um, you have a knight of coins in reverse, a little bit of stubbornness there. It it feels very much like this. Your connection has potential to build, if the drama stayed in the background, should we say? We've got open heart. Oh, a lovely picture. Receptive. What did I say about empathy? Vulnerable. So your person is knowing maybe that this is hurting you. And they are knowing that maybe you are hurt by all of this. You know, it looks like rumours possibly or gossip or anything like that. Receptive, empathy, vulnerable. So I knew when the King of Cups came out that they were they were open and vulnerable maybe to talk or they want you to, you know, to open up your feelings. And maybe they want to open up to you as well, being the King of Cups. But the biggest thing that I'm feeling is they understanding where you're coming from. So maybe when you say things, they're getting it. It's not that they're not. But I do feel like there has been a lot of drama in the background. They're moving forwards and I think they're not going to stop because I think there's an attachment to you here. Is what I'm seeing. Definitely an emotional attachment. The Six of Wands is telling me that um, huh, there might be even be some good news on the way to do with both of you here as well. Because the Six of Wands is a bearer of good news. But the Magician is great because the magician is about inspired action. So it, it could be that your person is going to um, contact you or um, I'm just going through some scenarios and some examples, but they are definitely been ex inspired by you. This, I think there's potential for you two to build something and leave the past maybe behind and all these people that are causing paranoia, um, maybe some family dramas, conflict here as well. There could even be some money problems. Ten of coins can be money problems. I knew it. New beginnings. New beginnings. Is that what it is? Look forward to a new beginning. I feel like this is potential to grow. Um, it might have been... Um, of what, 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 um, false start is that the word or slow start here but I just feel like there's been some paranoia I do feel like the lies have been told by other people rather than you, you two together and they've caused, definitely caused some drama so new beginnings new beginnings guys I like that let's have a look what else come oh the cards just come out and fall on the floor I have to get it don't I let's have a look what it says <laughs> the divine masculine of course that would come out faster <laughs> and make me go and work and get it off the floor the divine masculine is coming out they want to look after you 
they might even have two different sides to their personality. So they've got this soft side, but maybe this is what they're like on the surface. Look at them trying to protect you with the shield and the lion and, you know, they're not scared of this now is what I've, I've heard spirits say. They're not frightened of anyone. Um, they're going to go for what they want with you, I'm feeling. Let me just get one of my little... Excuse me for reaching over the shot. I have particular decks in front of me for you as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've got, hello, we've got love language, physical touch. A tender touch means so much. It was a bit saucy, isn't it, that photo? This one fell out too. Dreams come true. Have faith, your rainbow will come shining through. They rhyme, those two. Um, yeah, aren't they lovely? Bit, uh, a bit saucy. Hope I don't get a telling off here as well. Let's get some message cards for you. Open your heart. I know they're receptive to hear um, what you have to say. There's an emo massive emotional attachment, I feel, between you. Or what I call the invisible thread. I think you kind of know what each other's thinking. Uh, you could actually be um, intuitively tuned in to each other as well with this reading, with your King of Cups then. You can be your own knight as well. I feel like, as I'm reading, I kind of feel like you've both fought for this. You know, it's important. You know, it's important to your person. I've just pulled out this card. You are the person of my dreams. You're important to each other. Okay. Okay. I've pulled out finances are a problem. I did mention it for some of you. There could be a problem with financial issues as well here, you know. Let's pull out more cards. I can see myself with you for the long term. Okay. Okay, I feel empty without you. So for some of you here, please bear in mind these are general. Maybe this is what's happened for some of you because I do see drama in the background. Our story isn't over yet. You are the love of my life. Okay, we have long distance I've just pulled out as well. <laughs> I knew it. There was someone interfering in our relationship. There has been drama, hasn't there? I just know there has. So, yeah, they're not going anywhere, guys. They're seeing massive potential and they're very connected to you emotionally. You could, a lot, this could be long distance for a lot of you as well. But it is a lot and I can see there's bits going on. But ultimately, they want to be with you. They're thinking long term. Uh, they're not going to let you go here. They may even want some new beginnings with you as well, but they're not going anywhere. So hope that's all right for you, my darlings. I will send this, um, I will leave it here and um, you can read, sorry, you can listen to reading two or three if you were intuitively drawn as well. If you're after more pick of cards, I've just uploaded a two choice one so you can go and have a look there, but you can go back in time as well to see what resonates and just have a look you know, have a little look on my channel and see which is resonating for you, with you. I will be back really soon with another, with more readings, more pick of cards. So yeah, I won't be long. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give the video one of these if you like what I do. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you are new here. Drop a comment as well. I do read them. Thank you so much, guys. Be back really soon. Take care. Bye bye. Hey lovelies, welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose reading number two, which was Sundress, do it for you. Card 41. Shall we have a look how your person is seeing you right now? Let's ask Spirit how your person is seeing you. Okay. Let's have a look what, how your person is seeing you right now. I'm using the Lumiere Tarot deck today. Let's have a look what's going on. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Coins is reversed. We have the Four of Swords. Ooh. Okay. I kind of feel like they feel quite kind of rejected by you. Whoa. We've got two Aces in reverse. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're not sure about something. Have they? Okay. Why is this coming up now? We've got a Four of Swords. So I don't know whether... You've rejected this person. Maybe you haven't had enough from them. We do have two aces in reverse. We've got a rejection from the ace of wands. 
and we have the Ace of Swords, which is telling me they've got, a, a, the, you know, you could be um, blocking each other here with communication. So maybe you two aren't talking right now. You don't decided you don't want to communicate with this person. Um, is this a temporary thing? Because the Knight of Coins in reverse can be stubborn. And it might be an indication that maybe you've decided this connection isn't working for you um, there as well. Let me get more cards. What is going on here? Page of Wands. The Justice card. Ooh, okay. Have you got your own back on this person somehow? Are you trying to? It almost, I'm kind of, no wonder you've chosen to do it for you. It kind of feels like you might have walked away. And this person thinks that you've walked away. Wow, but they're not sure. Whoa, we've got some strong energy here. What on earth has happened? So we've got rejection. We have stress, mental blocks. Um, pops, your person hasn't put enough effort in your connection. It, it looks like someone's walked away. The four of swords is telling me maybe it's all too much for your person. And they, they have some anxiety issues right now. And are wondering what on earth is going on. I th it looks like a spread of maybe you've, um, they think that you've got your own back on them sometimes. You do have a justice card. So truths have come out. It does indicate mistreatment of some kind. So you might, <laughs> it's kind of like they're wondering what you're up to next. So if you are in no contact, they might, you might have them on there. You might have them on their toes and they're worrying about it for some reason. Um, I don't wonder if you're not talking to each other. So if you've not communicated or you've blocked each other here, the page of wands is coming out. So it's telling me maybe you've found, um, you've had to do like, you, you know, do it for you. You've had to do this for you. Um, I'm wondering here how many of you've walked away and you were talking about an ex and you might be wondering about what on earth is going on. Of course, if you've clicked on this reading, sometimes when I do reading, somebody clicks on them for one person and somebody else pops out. You know, it's all about energy. So this could be a case of that for some of you. But yeah, there's been maybe this person has mistreated you and you are getting your own back on them. It feels like you want to keep them guessing. That high priestess is mysterious lady. She's secretive and she's intuitive. So I almost feel like they think you're biding your time before you do something i don't know if you're being quite sneaky right now with this person and you don't want them to know things or you're trying not to maybe post things on social media so they see things or you don't want to, to know stuff about your life so i'm wondering if a lot of you here if they have mistreated you and you've gone from them and maybe you've asked as i said maybe you've asked for someone else and this person's popped out because that can happen I don't know if they've been on your mind and you didn't realise this one's coming out. But I kind of feel like your inspiration is elsewhere with that page of wands to the justice card. You Maybe you have had your justice or maybe you want revenge on this person or you want your justice there. But it does indicate um, here that the truths have been told or the truths have come out. Whoa, I just pulled out karma consequences cause and effect and debts or debts so i'm wondering here if you're trying to get your own back on this person and you've got them on their toes i have to say they're kind of nervous about your next move um wow they might be seeing you as pretty damn clever here as well excuse me i didn't mean to square um let me get some cards here what's going on <laughs> forgive the act of forgiveness releases tension mm, perhaps you're getting them to do that i feel like maybe they need your forgiveness in some way <laughs> with this spread it feels quite dramatic karma consequences consequences of their actions so yeah debts Oh, I can just feel it. I can feel the power behind this here. Wow. I've got manifestation coming out of the Love Oracle deck here. So have some of you been manifesting it? Or are you... Sometimes I think people can manifest without actually doing anything. Like it's on your mind or you might be thinking about it. Or you... It looks like maybe you. some of you want revenge on this person. But um, you've got them on their toes. They're quite anxious and burnt out about it all. Um... 
yeah, perhaps they need you to forgive them for them to kind of calm down. But yeah, consequences of their actions. Karma. Wow. Let me get some oracles. Sorry. Message cards. Whoops. I want to just jump out here. You make me want to be a better person. So are they learning a lesson here, guys? Are they learning a lesson here? Wow. We've got this was just a fling. So I do feel like maybe there has been hurt. Energy here as well. Let's get some more. I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. They are overwhelmed. I know that. But the Four of Swords is like they, I think they're not sure what your next move is here. I think they're kind of fight arguments and conflict. I feel like I ruined everything. Where should I put this? Get some more. Okay, Destiny's taken us down different paths. I don't know what I want. And I'm going to be honest, I've got there is a third party here as well. I have pulled out another card with that third party. I feel terrible for hurting you. So maybe they, they're realising that karma's setting in and cause and effect, cause and effect. So what they've done is, you know, is now having an effect here. So maybe you, uh, yeah, maybe you didn't realise that, but they're kind of wondering what your next move is, shall we say? So seeing you secretive, mysterious, wondering what your next move is. Um, they might ask for your forgiveness. I think that's uh, future energy possibly. Maybe uh, you've been mistreated and you're getting your own back in some way. Um, and they might feel rejected by you. The feeling I'm getting is kind of mental stress rather than... And my stomach went a bit nervous. So I don't know whether that someone's got a nervous stomach as well. <laughs> so yeah you've got them in the toes wow what reading guys thank you so much if that's resonating with you please drop a comment if you were of course um read asking for someone else and this person's popped out and you, it's resonating you know it's like whoa so drop a comment give the reading one of these please it really helps subscribe turn on the notification bell um i do read your comments i'll be back really soon with more picket cards if you're after more or you're attracted to another deck another uh, marker card today listen to that one go on the playlist there i've just uploaded a two pick a card reading there as well have a look there as well if, you know go back in history everything's timeless i'll be back really soon take care till next time bye bye hey my loves how are you all welcome to reading three you've chosen this card 34 voyage you already have all the answers. Should we have a look what spirit wants to know how this person is seeing you right now? Let's have a look. Let's get some tarot cards here. So how are they seeing you right now? Okay, we have a page of cups in reverse. King of Cups is in reverse. Temperance card. Are they waiting for something to blow over? That's the first thing I got. You see, the King of Cups is quite emotionally distanced and they can be emotionally manipulative in reverse. Then you have your Page of Cups. Often indicates somebody... Um, Mm. the page cups can often indicate pages in reverse sorry in reverse can be immaturity something happening too soon um it almost feels like this person maybe they're feeling that you've relied on them too much emotionally i wonder if they've taken a step back and you're kind of wondering where on earth have they gone yeah the knight of cups is coming out here now they could be jealous of another male, another another romantic interest. You have a temperance card here as well, so this could also be misunderstandings. Are they waiting for an incident to blow over? That's the feeling I'm getting um, intuitively here. They might be quite moody right now for some reason. Let's find out why. So what is it? I kind of feel like they think that you've done something. Let me get more cards here. I just pulled out three. Okay, and that one's just fallen on the floor. 
Aha, the Seven of Swords. The King of Wands. The Star card. Have you been ignoring them? It, there's a lot of male energy going on here. I kind of feel like there could be third party problems here. They may have even been wrong as well. You have your Seven of Swords. Are they trying? It's almost like they want you to chase them and make it up to them. Is what I'm seeing. Seven of Swords is often someone who, who thinks that they've caught you at something. And um, you've got a lot of kings and some knights. They've withdrawn. The feeling that I'm getting here, they might even be wrong about what they've seen. Um, but it looks like they're expecting you to apologise to them. Mm. And something is definitely annoying them. Could be another person, you know. Oh, we've got some cards flying out. These lot have come out. Aha. We have a two of cups in reverse here. What else came out here as well? The eight of cups and something's underneath that. A lot fell out then, guys. The eight of cups is reversed. The two of swords. I, I kind of... <laughs> the feeling I'm getting there is them thinking that you want that... That you want them back. That's what I'm seeing here. Two of Cups reverse. There's definitely, it could be a breakup now of a relationship because you've got Two of Cups and a Page of Cups and sometimes they might think that you want them back. There is a return and thinking about it here. Maybe learning lessons and returning in. So I'm as suspected that they think they're punishing you in some way. Um, they might be even be ignoring you for a reason. They this could involve a third party somewhere, or it looks very complicated. So they might be thinking about something here. You got your two of swords. Two of swords is often compromises or um, decision making. You see the two of swords net always has a blindfold so not sure about everything so maybe they think they don't have all the information they're trying to maybe calm things down they might be waiting for something to blow over as i've said the the temperance card in love reading could be misunderstandings as well so um yeah there's a, a little bit of drama going on here should we say so your person is acting all mo moody emotional they could have had a breakup here um, they, I think they're expecting you to apologise to them with this reading. You might, They might be ignoring you right now or looking like they are. They could be jealous of another energy, another male energy, who they may think is better than them, whoever that is, whether it's a third party or a friend or somebody that hangs around you. Um, and they also think that you, they, they also feel or they see that they think that you want them back in some way. You may have asked them to go back or they think that you, you know, you do. That two of swords might be that they're thinking about it, you know. So it's a bit of limbo. Let's should we get some oracle cards and have a look what else is coming out. There's a bit going on here as well. So, hmm, okay. So they probably feel like you still fancy them and, you know, want to go back with them here as well. What's coming out? Right, we've... Breaking point, limit, final straw, overwhelmed. The guy on the computer. And we've got finality. Farewells, leave behind and closure. So there could be some closure issues with this reading as well. Um, you see you've got a return. So maybe a person. Farewells, leave behind, closure. Perhaps there is closure issues here. Perhaps they're struggling to leave you behind. You've got to be in their energies if they're thinking about you. Do you know what I mean? If it's coming out. Because they may feel, and they might be wrong again, that you want them back. So they could be wrong there as well. Because you've got your temperance card, which is indicating maybe getting the wrong end of the stick, misunderstandings. Um, something is not, you know, not in balance here, should we say. Yeah, if it kind of feels like maybe it's come to a a point, you know, your connection has come to some kind of point. I feel like your person's really moody as well. Um, I think they're jealous, but jealousy hasn't come out with the spread, I should say. You already have all the answers. Okay, maybe I'm not telling you anything that you kind of suspect or know about here. Okay. 
we've got curiosity. Learn to be curious about each other. I kind of feel like, I just feel like your person thinks that you still want them. And the one looking at this picture here, I'll show you guys, is that I kind of feel like that's their face at the minute. <laughs> they feel really moody. Um, I feel like maybe they've played you a little bit as well, emotionally. Um, it's like played a few games. Misunderstanding is the name of the game here. It's a bit, it's quite complicated, isn't it? This may have led to, to somebody either walking away, I have to say, you have a two of cups, but um, they, I, they might even be playing mind games with you where they're trying to get you to notice them. I just feel like they're playing a bit of a game. So maybe they've promised you something and now they're not talking and that's what I'm feeling. It's like, you know, they're playing with your heartstrings here, I can tell. Why are they on the computer, you know, to the middle of the night, in the middle of the night? They're still, they're still curious about everything. I think jealousy has a lot to do with this, but you'll never get your person to admit it. That's what I'm feeling here as well. Okay, let's get some love oracles, see what's coming out of this deck. Okay, here as well. <laughs> we have the card of resolving conflict. Empathy, compassion, understanding. I just don't... I, it's almost like they're expecting you to run to them and say sorry and um, I adore you and stuff like that. And I just feel like they're still curious about you. Even though they act like maybe they've done that, yeah? They still, if it's coming out, the energy is telling me they're still interested and curious. Even if, you know, they're pretending, you know, that they're not interested, they are. They could be spying on you as well here, even though a page of swords did not come out. I have to say, but they're still curious about your life. It's like, what are you up to? Maybe they like the idea of you fancying them and chasing after them. Gives them a bit of an ego boost. But maybe this card has come out that maybe something could get sorted one day or calm down. But I kind of feel like they're moody right now. Maybe you're moody right now. Um, perhaps spirit is saying maybe to either get closure issues or resolve things. There needs to be some compromise <laughs> somewhere. Two, hence the two of swords is coming out but maybe it's timing maybe just not the right time just yet but don't let them play emotional games with you i can see that here four million percent i think they like the idea that you want still want them as well so it could be a bit of arrogance to let me see what this is here there was someone interfering in our relationship let's get some i feel like i can't give you what you need I feel like I ruined everything. Fights, arguments and conflict. Jealous and possessive. I'm not surprised. Please be patient with me. It's come out as well. I know these are not all going to resonate. This one's coming out too. Please forgive me. Perhaps this is future energy because the last card I pulled out was resolving conflict. So... There might be a glimmer of hope for those of you who want to take it. And I can kind of feel like those of you who are like, nah. So, <laughs> oh, I did pull out this as well. Destiny has taken us down different paths. Okay, as well. And I've pulled that out again. I feel like I'm not good enough for you. Hmm. I think what I'm feeling is moody, spoiledy baby. It's moody, spoiling baby. That's the kind of energy... Um, like putting a dummy in someone's mouth but I also feel intuitively there's a bit of arrogance behind all of this for your person they like the idea that maybe you still want them and still fancy them and they're playing a bit of a game with you here as well um, perhaps spirit is saying that there could be a glimmer of hope if it can be worked out but I kind of feel like they might be playing a few mind games with you right now with this person. So they kind of maybe, I feel like they think that you still fancy them ultimately and that you still find them attractive, possibly. There could be other people involved in this. It could be third party. There's other, a lot of other people energy in this reading as well. Okay, my loves, I am going to send this off to you right now. Thank you so much for listening to this reading. I really appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up, drop a comment, subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you would be so kind. I'll be back really soon. If you want to refer to a different pile of cards, one or two, or you want to go to a different video that's um, 
even a few months old or anything like that. I've just uploaded some others recently as well. You can check those out if you haven't done already. I'll be back really, really soon. Everything is timeless on the channel, so when you find it and need it. Thank you so much. I'll be back really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.